What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 15 of the 2020 Tour de France here on PCM and today we head from Lyon to the Grand Colombier. Look at this massive final climb we have to conquer today. Gonna be a big one in the GC and again, quick note, if I'm not sounding quite my best, I'm not feeling great at the moment, but let's get on with the stage anyhow. Getting underway then, and we have a few riders on decent race days, and I would like to put Bessiel in the breakaway again for the green jersey, as well as maybe Hagita or Nielsen Paulus. Okay then, so currently we have a pretty hard tempo. CCC clearly looking to put someone in today's breakaway, and we have a very strong group currently up the roads with the likes of Adam Yates to Ghent, Alaphilippe and Mark Kershey. So I did just make a move with Hagita attacking up to this group and we have made it now to the breakaway. So two riders currently in this group and we have just a minute currently on the front of the peloton. Here we go then coming into that final concert before the intermediate sprint. Betio can roll across the line very nicely picking up more points and opening up a great lead now on Caleb Ewan. Okay, so we now come into the first climb today and look at the tempo we are dealing with. It's Ineos on the front trying to clearly set something up for Egan Bernal. The breakaway have less than a minute, not allowed any leeway at all today. And look at this, everyone from that breakaway is pretty much done as we hit this climb, including Alaphilippe, Esteban Chavez, Madua as well. Up the roads we have just Hershey, Betio, Yates and Hagita. And look at the way Ineos are just controlling things on the front today. Amador still on the front. We're going to see a very small peloton, I feel, over the top of this first climb today. We need to move up a little bit with our guys as well. Can we push Hagita to 75? No, we're caught anyway by the peloton. Oh boy, here we go. We've got attacks already. Primoz Roglic on the attack, 14 minutes down in GC. We do not have the firepower to react to that immediately. I cannot believe how much riders are scattered across the road here. Higuita even is now done. Rigoberto, Aran and Martinez just about staying with the front guys. And we're just going to have to try and stay here because look at our energy. Primoz Roglic has a minute currently on this group. And so it would seem that Ineos cannot do the closing to Primoz Roglic. I'm not going to do it at this point, Roglic is 14 minutes down in GC. We don't need to close that gap. So over the top of this climb, we stay with 27 riders in this group all together. Hopefully we can recover in this downhill and taking a look up to Primoz Roglic, he has a two minute lead currently. Oh boy, big moment in the race because Roman Bardet has fallen currently on the podium, two minutes down. So unlucky for the Frenchman. He has fallen at one of the worst moments possible in at this stage. And you can see here, Pierre Lator trying to bring not only Hagita but Romain Bardet back to the peloton, but I do believe the Frenchman's hopes in the GC could be over. Here we go then, the Grand Colombier gets underway, 17.3 kilometers, average of 7.2%. Carapaz currently working on the front. Can we hold on to yellow? That is the goal today, whilst Primoz Roglic's lead is going just like that, down to one minute now. Bardet trying to make his way back up, but he still has two minutes. He's not going to do it at all. We really need to up the tempo right here with a super hard tempo being set on the front of this group. Let's try and move to the front now. It's Astana working for Lopez. So here we go, 12K to go. Bernal, Landa, Pagacha, de Moulin, Pino, Bookman, all the big names in the GC are on the move as Primoz Roglic has been caught. I cannot follow that tempo with 12k to go. Let's try and move up on 85 with Danny Martinez helping Rigo Aran. Can we catch everyone? Yes, we can. That is absolutely perfect. Bernal on the counter attack as well. And look at our energy. We can hardly hold on to these guys. So Lopez is dropped. We have Guillaume Martin, Molima in this group with Pozzo Vivo as well. Further back, Roglic and the others have been dropped up the rows. We have a group of seven riders. Can we now catch them? That is going to be the difficulty because Martinez cannot help Rigoberto around for much longer. And look at this, up the road, Thibaut Pino on the attack. Clearly he is having a very good day compared to some of his previous days. Dan Martinez is now done. Shame we had to use him up to help Rigo around. Maybe he could have challenged for this stage, but Aran trying to work his way 
towards that group. Quintana is done. Landa is done as well. Hopefully, we can catch those guys. But Pogaccia, Bernal, Demoulin and Bookman looking very, very strong. So, Ran working his way up the road very nicely. We're on a 12.5% section. I'm going to push it to 75 right here. Use a lot of energy. Try and catch those guys on this slightly steeper section. And we've just about done it right there. What a rise by Rigo Aran. We now have six riders at the front of the race. And we can just sit up in this group at the very front. Whilst Molima, Landa and Lopez join us as well. So here we go. 3k to go. Emmanuel Bookman upping the tempo. We're going to have to try and follow that with Rigo Berto Aran. But try and save some energy for that final few hundred metres. Which really punches up to over 10% I think but look at Bookman's tempo on the front Emmanuel Bookman clearly feeling very good today compared to some of the previous days and there is a split as Balcom Olima unable to follow the wheels neither can we as Bernal trying to go into yellow right here can we save a little bit right here for the line it's going to be difficult let's just go to maybe 75 try and go to the line like this with around Pogacar is done Bernal is done Pino is done and Emmanuel Bookman wins on the Grand Colombier. We can just try and go for the line and I think Bernal is going to gain a lot of time in the GC. Can we hold on to yellow? I think we just might. What a ride today by Emmanuel Bookman. However, a massive ride by Egan Bernal pushing himself back into that GC battle. Pogaccio with a good one as well. And you can see we lose about 45 40 seconds to Bernal, including time bonuses as well. And in the GC, he is now just 52 seconds behind. Pogaccia there looking menacing as well. This hunt for the yellow jersey is far from over. Stage 16 of the Tour de France, and we have a very interesting stage again. Probably will end up being for the GC guys. I cannot wait for that one. But if you enjoyed today, drop a like on the video as always. Tell me what your thoughts in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next one.